Thanks for tuning into this video briefing update for the first main atmospheric river of 2019-20 to move into Southern California on Tuesday. We'll provide an update as there also is potential for significant weather lasting into Thursday as the main low pressure area moves through. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Okay, what's the main impacts on our table? Well, it looks like a very wet commute Tuesday morning as showers and even some thunderstorms roll into the California Bight and hit the coastal areas and move into the valleys early Tuesday morning, even before sunrise. Now, we also see some threat from fog as this tropical moisture moves in. That'll be over the higher elevations between five and 7,000 feet. And of course, the lightning potential, even for the beaches, now, uh, snowfall will be confined to above 7,000 feet for the most part. We do have some uncertainty, but it looks like another round of significant rain and even thunderstorms could move back in on Thursday as the low pressure area moves through. Here are some of the details. The big picture on the left-hand side, this is a SoCal Southern California storm. You can see the amounts expected for storm totals much higher across Southern California. The zoomed up version is on the right hand side. Take some time to look over that. Bottom line is three to five inches total for some of our wettest locations. Most areas, including the deserts and the coast and the valleys, about one to two inches of widespread rain. When you count up the entire storm all the way through early Friday. We do expect uh, precipitation to move up from the south tonight. And so by the time sunrise tomorrow, these bands of heavy rain will be coming up from the south and moving across the area as shown here. Some embedded thunderstorms and embedded pockets of heavy rain too as they move up from south to north with the atmospheric river. The main precipitation for this event looks to be late tonight all the way through Tuesday night. And that's what these totals are shown here. Again, most areas one to one and a half inches, including desert areas, and more than that for the mountain areas as that south flow or moisture banks up against those area. Those pockets are obvious on this map, Mount Baldy area, Cajon Pass area, also the mountains of San Diego County and part of the Santa Ana Mountains where precipitation could be double what we see elsewhere. Now, snowfall, again mentioned, uh, snow levels will start off around 7,000 feet, but they'll rise to as much as 8,000 feet. So snow with this mild atmospheric river really confined to the higher terrain, but it will be significant over areas around 8,000 feet uh, with basically 6 to 12 inches of wet snow. Now, what about round two? I think there'll be a break for the most part other than a few showers on Wednesday but more rain is expected to build back in Wednesday night and last all the way through Thursday night as the main low pressure system moves through. So this is separate additional rainfall. So look for another half inch to an inch for the mountains and another quarter to half inch for coastal areas. So let's call this round two. This is not the atmospheric river part of the storm. And again, this is primarily Wednesday night through Thursday night. Snowfall, this will be a little bit colder part of the storm. So uh, we will see some wet snow falling down to Big Bear, 6,500, 7,000 feet. But overall, this is still a mild part of the storm and additional several inches of snow up around 8,000 feet, albeit wet snow. Wind, uh, we see some wind potential as the atmospheric river arrives and that's primarily um, on Tuesday as that south flow picks up where we could see wind gusts of 20 30 miles per hour uh, over the water and coast and stronger over the mountains and high deserts up around 40 miles per hour. The storm track looks like this so the atmospheric river comes in albeit narrow comes into the California Bight early Tuesday okay and then that is going to be ejected to the east on Wednesday so we do look to have a break on Wednesday. Keep an eye on that L on the left hand side. That low pressure area makes very little progress on Wednesday. Um, we won't see the precipitation end, but we'll be between that L and the atmospheric river to the right on Wednesday. So let's just call it scattered showers on Wednesday. Now on Thursday, that L moves right over the Baja region. It becomes uh, more unstable. 
So the atmosphere has more potential for moderate showers developing and becoming more widespread on Thursday. Not an atmospheric river, but related to that L that slowly makes its way over the California-Mexico border on Thursday. Here are some of the highlights. Take some time to look at this. Uh, Tuesday is our atmospheric river, really starting early, early Tuesday before sunrise. High snow levels, potentially getting up to 8,000 feet in the warmest part, but thunderstorms and moderate rainfall rates briefly heavy on Tuesday. We do see a potential for a break Wednesday for scattered showers, and then our best chances look to be on Thursday. Snow levels come down a little bit, but they're still high, up around 7,000 feet. We do see the potential with that main low pressure area on Thursday to still see some heavy rainfall rates, so please keep that in mind. Uh, overall, again, a high snow level situation, but significant wet snow is possible. Now, will it end on Friday? It does look like it'll end on Friday, but I can't rule out some scattered showers into Friday morning. All right, uh, what about another storm? It does look like next week, uh, sometime late Monday into Tuesday, between the 16th and 18th, a storm, what a surprise, coming directly down from the north. Um, this one doesn't go offshore, so it doesn't tap into as much moisture, but nonetheless brings instability and a strong cold front. So wind and precipitation expected next week, uh, primarily late Monday uh, through Tuesday of next week. Here are the highlights. Take some time to look at this. Uh, updates will be posted on Facebook and Twitter. We've got two main chances for rainfall uh, starting early Tuesday, lasting through Tuesday night, and then again rebuilding across the area Wednesday night and Thursday with the low pressure areas. Could be some local flooding. Uh, a lot of water running to the rivers, even though they may not flood per se. Uh, significant water runoff into the rivers. Look like more low-lying and isolated flash flooding. Uh, with the pockets of heavy rain that moved through on Tuesday and Thursday. Some showers lingering all the way into Friday. Your amounts, everyone one to two inches, it looks like, even the deserts of water. And, and the primary rain, again, is from early Tuesday through Tuesday night, and then again on Thursday. Next storm looks to be for early next week, sometime between the 16th and 18th. It's not an atmospheric river, but it's still a strong cold front. So some uncertainty does exist for the Thursday part of the storm, but high confidence for the rain moving in early Tuesday, and then uh, pretty good confidence even for the potential for precipitation next week. Thanks for tuning in.